The next thing is envelopes. And if you've ever heard attack, decay, sustain, release, what they're talking about is an envelope. Anything that happens to a sound over time involves envelopes, whether it be volume or the pitch of a sound or a filter or an oscillator. Each one of those things can have separate envelopes within the same sound. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the, the fundamentals. The attack is simply how long something takes to get from silence to the peak volume that a sound is going to have. We'll just hit a note, and this is an immediate attack here. As you can see, the attack down here is at zero milliseconds. So that when I immediately hit the, the key, the sound jumps right in immediately. Now let me go ahead and drag this over, and as you'll see down here in the attack, We'll make it take a couple seconds here. And here we go. 5.74 seconds here. So as you can see, it just kind of fades itself in. So that, that's the attack of a sound. Now the decay of a sound is basically how long it takes to get to the sustained volume. Also, just rest assured that you can actually change the volume of your peak as well, or your attack, as you can see here. In this case, I'm just gonna bring it all the way up to the top. And then the decay, let's just make that really short. We'll make that about 70 milliseconds. And then it'll jump down to a, a lower volume and sustain here. You hear how it kind of jumps up real quick and then it tapers back down. Let me make this a little bit longer here. So that'll be one second and let me make this one second. So you can kind of hear the volume fade up and down more easily. Just like so. And then as long as I hold that key down, it's gonna sustain at that volume. And then when I let go, it'll just immediately cut off until I set the release time. Right now, the release time is set to 50 milliseconds, which means after I release the key, it's, it's going to take 50 milliseconds for that sound to fade back into silence. If I extend this, now it's going to take two seconds from the time I release. So I'll hit the key. Now it's sustaining. And now I'll release the key. Okay, so that is the basics of an envelope. Now this can actually take place in many other forms as well, like I said, with a filter or with other oscillators. So you can have this oscillator here with just a, a sine wave. And then let's just uh, grab, who knows, let's just grab a triangle wave here. And I'll solo this real quick. And... I'm going to change the algorithm to a simple algorithm here. And go ahead and play the sound here. Okay, so this here is a different waveform, a different oscillator. And I'm going to set this a little bit different. So I'm going to have this one take. 10 seconds to fade in. It's going to sustain it at the same volume, so it's going to stay there. And it's going to be a quick release, so when I release the key, you're just going to hear the first oscillator here. So let's go ahead and turn both of these on, and you'll hear what I mean. So that's two different oscillators working together with different envelopes. I hope this gives you a basic understanding of how an envelope works.